I welcome you all to GIPL Software Talk. I am Hita Mehta and I am working with GIPL as senior software engineer. Today we are going to provide information of OpenStreetMap integration with .NET technology. Here I am provide information about OpenStreetMap including map configuration, working with markers and pop-ups and dealing with the event. So stay connected with us till the end to know the full details. Before we start our video, I would like to give some information about GIPL. GIPL is a government organization. GIPL provides IT and IT enabled services to different government organizations. We provide informative video about government software and latest technology tutorials. To get latest video, please press on bell icon and subscribe to our channel. Let's start the demo. Today we are going to demonstrate about how to integrate open source map with the .NET technology. There are many open sources available which can be easily integrate with most of the all development technologies and languages. In recent years, have seen new ways of collecting geographical information via the crowd rather than the organizations. OpenStreetMap is a prime example of this approach and has bought free access to a wealth of geographic information. OpenStreetMap is a tool for creating and sharing map information. OpenStreetMap is built by community of mappers that contribute and maintain data about roads, trails, cafes, railway stations, and much more. OpenStreetMap is used by people all over the world, and there are many ways to use. OpenStreetMap is an open data source, and it's free to use as long as you credit to OpenStreetMap and its contributors. Before use, please go through with its copyright and license related terms and conditions for more details. Let's start the demo of OpenStreetMap. I have already opened my Microsoft Visual Studio and create a new project for integration with OpenStreetMap. We require to use this JS and stylesheet file for map integration and jQuery script for call our map api let's go to the demo i have added one web form in my project demo map dot aspx in my web form i have include leaflet stylesheet link here and leaflet javascript in a head section of my web form for the map integration you can get link of stylesheet and script from OpenStreetMap's website and I also write the same in my description box also. I call my map API using jQuery. So I have also include script of jQuery in head section. In the form design part, I have put ASP button control and div element with a certain ID where I want my map view. Make sure the map container has a defined height. For example, by setting it in CSS or giving it a style. Let's go to the CS page. I have created a web method in demo map.cs page to display the map across the event clicking a button. Web method written the string in JSON format. First, I create a data table which have four columns. Location name, latitude, longitude and visit date. Data type of all four columns are string. Here I have added data in the data table manually. However, you can also fetch the data from the database also. Now I want my output in JSON format. So I am converting my data table into the list. For that I am initialized a list dictionary object as a list row 
and dictionary object as a child row using nested for each loop fetching the data from data table row by row outer for each loop is for row data fetching and inner loop for the columns after ending the loop i am using javascript serialize class it convert a custom dot net object to a json string i am passing my list in javascript serialize object which return the json string output let's move to one xpx page here i create a map in the map div and add tile of our choice and then add a marker with some text in a pop up after completion of body tag i have added script tag for use the javascript file first i have initialized the map and set its view to our chosen geographical coordinate and a zoom level you have to replace map with your div name by default as we do not pass any option when creating the map instance all mouse and touches interaction on the map are enabled and it has zoom and attribution controls please note that set view call also written the map object next i have added a tile layer to our map in this case it's a map box street layer creating a tile layer usually involves setting the url template for the tile images the attribution tags and the minimum maximum zoom level of the layer in this example we use the map box street v11 tile for the map box static tile api in order to use tile from map box you must also request an access token we will also have to explicitly specify this and offset our zoom by a value of minus 1 make sure all the code is called after the div and leaflet javascript inclusion you can easily add other things to your map including markers polygon circles and pop up first let's demo for put the marker in our map after the basic settings of a map i made a function on search button click event in this function i used ajax to call my web method set all ajax method attribute type of method is post set the url of web method which is defined in demo map.cs get let long function name contain type application json data type json and the success function on a success function i am getting my response data in json format first i check the length of the data if data found then pass the data of array in the loop for each record i have to check latitude and longitude are not null if not then using the l mark parser the data and plot the marker points on the map let's the project run and check the output see the output in a map all five points are marked which i pass through the web method now let's working with the pop up option pop ups are usually used when you want to attach some information to a particular object on a map open street map has a very handy shortcut for this the bind pop up method attach a pop up with the specified html content to your marker so the pop up appears when you click on the marker let's try for this here i declared one html table with the data location name and visit date which are display 
in the pop up window let's run and check the output in the output you will see the pop up is appeared on a marker click event with the data which we displayed in a html table here i am finishing my demo with the pop up we hope that you will find the open street map useful and interesting in your work by following this guide you should be able to quick start making digital map with the open street map thank you thank you for watching video for any it and it enable services you can contact gipl with showing detail on screen if you like our video please like the video and share with your friends and family members we will meet you in next video till then stay safe stay home and take care